What is going on guys, it's Kai here and welcome to a brand new how to cop video for the upcoming Yeezy 350 Bone and the Yeezy 350 Onyx. Now these are two very clean Yeezy 350 colorways, so make sure you are listening to all the information I do provide as we will be going through everything you need to know about this sneaker. Whether that's release dates, raffles, how to get your hand in the shoe, best sizes to go for, resale predictions, where to sell them, everything will be covered in this small short video. So make sure you do drop a like, make sure you comment on the video, let me know what you think about this sneaker and subscribe to the channel. Let's get into today's video. The Yeezy 350 Onyx and the Yeezy 350 Bone will be releasing on the 20th of June. These will be retailing for £200 and you can definitely expect good profit on both of these shoes. So how are you going to get your hands on this shoe? Well many different retailers will be dropping these. However it's looking like the Yeezy 350 Onyx will be an Adidas exclusive so you will only be able to access the Yeezy 350 Onyx on the Adidas confirmed app. On the app, you can enter the draw, and then on the day, you'll be notified if you have won this draw or not. The same goes for the Yeezy 350. The same goes for the Yeezy 350 Bone. However, other retailers such as End, SNS, Size Launches, Foot Patrol, they should all be getting this sneaker as well. So it really will increase your chances. Now, your group should have a full list of all the different raffles that will be releasing this sneaker, as there is a lot. Which leads us on to the interruption of today's video, where I show you guys one person's success from being in the Kai Kicks Apprentice group that is ran by myself now this is a group where i teach you everything you need to know about sneakers whether you are beginning and you know nothing or whether you're looking to scale your business this has been running for over one year and our success speaks for itself everyone within the group is cooking up everyone's making profit however we give you three different tiers that makes us stand out from the rest from the other groups this provides all information you need whether that's about the sneaker releases guides how to cop multiple botting monitors nft information one-on-one -on -one calls one-on -one support everything you need all compact within one server now we top link down the description below to check our website which will give you a list of all the different features from there you can pick what tier suits you and i'll see you guys in there get your reselling journey started let's get start making some money and make that income you've always wanted to start top link down in the description so we've gone through the retail we've gone through the release date and we've gone through a couple sites that you'll be able to get your hands on this sneaker now let's get into the best sizes to go for now if this was one year ago i would be saying the best sizes to go for are the base sizes which are sizes between four and a half and six in the uk in my opinion these sizes tend to perform better when it comes to easy 350s however i have noticed a shift in size changes however i have noticed a shift in the best sizes to go for recently in terms of a easy 350 50s. I've been moving a lot more sizes 8 to 12 recently rather than the sizes 4.5 to 6. I have also noticed that the prices you can sell for the sizes 8 to 12 is getting pretty much the exact same as the prices you can sell for sizes 4.5 to 6. The reason being is I'm starting to see a higher demand for the sizes 8 to 12 which means you can charge that bit higher value especially when you're selling on private platforms. So in me personally I will be going for a full size range and getting a fair couple of pairs of these however what I will say guys is your safest option in my opinion will be sizes 8 to 12. Sizes 4.5 to 6 may go for a little bit more and resell but I do believe that demand will outweigh the resale price so you'll be able to charge a little bit more anyway. Not only that you'll probably see better stock made of sizes 8 to 12 due to there being more demand so you may even have increased chance in winning this shoe. So in my opinion I'll be mainly going for sizes 8 to 12 but I also will be going for a full size run as well. Now some tips and tricks of how you're actually going to cop this shoe. Well like I said before most of these sites will be raffles and I don't think any site will be providing a first come first serve on the website. So raffle box such as flare raffles are going to be your best ways of securing multiple pairs and being in a good group that provides you all the information you need and guides around the site which Kai Kicks Apprentice does. In terms of in-store I do not believe really anywhere will probably get these in-store if you're lucky maybe a couple places but to my knowledge I don't think anywhere will get these in-store for retail price. So your best bets are going to be online entering as many accounts as you possibly can and making sure you are not getting filtered from the filter systems on the raffle websites. Now, hold or sell before we do get into the resale prediction. Hold or sell when it comes to Yeezy 350s. Well, at the moment in the UK, weather is actually very, very nice. With summer basically already here, I do not believe this is going to be a hold unless you are holding for like over a year till next summer. Yeezys never really tend to perform well for the hold. They always end up restocking. So in my opinion, it will be a very, very quick sell whilst the weather is good, whilst people are wanting to wear Yeezys because at the end of the day, Yeezy 350s 
2050s are summer shoes and especially with these summer colorways all white and all black a lot of demand will be there and i do believe you'll be able to shift these quite easily so quick sell all of your pairs sell them as early as you possibly can remember when people do get in hand you will see the resale you will see the resale prices drop in value a little bit just because everyone getting in hand and everyone is flooding the market i will be selling my pairs as soon as i even get the win confirmations maybe even before they even come in hand just so i can maximize my profit so what is the profit for this shoe the moment you've all been waiting for let's start off with the yeezy 350 onyx now if it does stay as an adidas exclusive i do believe the resale prediction will be better than the yeezy 350 bones I believe the Yeezy 350 Onyx will be definitely looking above the £250 mark in some sizes. Now that's not me saying all sizes will be over £250, that's me saying this is a rough estimate of what I believe the retail price will be. Some prices might be more than that, some sizes might be less than that. Now in terms of the Yeezy 350 Bone, I do believe these just to be a little bit lower, around the £235 resale mark. Now make sure you consider all of the fees when you are selling these. If you're selling on StockX, there's 10% already gone and when you're looking at 10% when you're selling for £235 that's £23.50 just gone in the 10% which doesn't even include postage like some other sites do. So bear that in mind when you are selling such a high resale product and you want to make sure you are covered when you're shipping these because if they get lost in the mail if everybody's booting them down in their van and you ain't got insurance you're going to lose your money. So where are you going to sell these shoes? I definitely definitely avoid places like Goat or StockX for this sneaker because of the transaction fees is 10% and you've also got PayPal or bank transfer fees at about 3%, really going to eat into your profits when you're selling a shoe for 230 to £250. Pounds. You're going to lose like £30 in fees before you've even done anything else. Your main bet will be selling privately or selling on less feed platforms such as eBay. They only charge a 5% fee and not only that, they always do like 80% off the seller fees so you can really maximise your profits there. But the best places are going to be your own clientele. Building a brand for yourself selling on Instagram, selling on Facebook, selling on your Snapchat stories, anything you possibly can to really maximize your profit is going to be your best bet. If you can get a cash in hand deal or a straight bank transfer or even only PayPal goods and services, well that was good until my camera died, however we are back. As I was saying, as I was saying, I do not expect these to drop in store pretty much anywhere and to give you a round off of today's video, so we've got the Yeezy 350 Bones, the Yeezy 350 Onyx, both retailing for £200, they'll be releasing on the 20th, definitely expect good resale to be made around the £235 for the bones and a £250 mark for the onyx. In terms of best sizes, definitely go for sizes 8 to 12. In terms of sites that will be releasing these, it's an, it is an Adidas exclusive for the onyxes it's looking like and the bones and many different retailers will get these size and, and so on. Good luck in all the releases. If you want to really expand your knowledge and get sneaky selling yourself, join my group, top link down in the description and find what tier suits you best. Apart from that, it's been Kai Kits. Good luck in all your releases and I'll see you guys in the next video subscribe to the channel let's hit 5k subs see you in a bit guys